Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the X-Wing Starfire of, well, of summer 2018, y'all. So, I'm gonna start off with the box that we always do. That LEGO Star Wars, the Last Jedi border, her all the minifigures, Disney logo, picture of the set in action, and then, uh, Age group 8 through 14, set number 75218. It has 730 pieces. And flip to the back. You'll see it in a rest position and all the features of it. And on yeah. <clears throat> to the instruction booklet. Same picture is on the front and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces included after Lego Life with Kyle Ren. After the AT Hauler and Imperial Convey X Transport, which I have previously reviewed. All the main figures that are included with the Summer Set Wave. And all the Summer Wave sets. And last building steps. And now to the minifigures. And all new thing that I made just for this kind of thing. So starting out with Luke Skywalker, or young Luke Skywalker. Let's see, focuses more easily. Yeah. So his torso print, of which does look good, almost like most other X-Wing pilot Luke Skywalker did. And as for the helmet, and those guys, the blue, blue lightsaber right there, which, of which, uh, nothing. It's kind of like miscellaneous and on the side. Let me get the front skin, there we go. So, see, torso print does look good, and also the lips helmet piece, which has a lot of good detailing to it, just about like the ones in the Force Awakens line. And there's his back printing. And also holding a small pistol there. And let me get off the helmet. And better focus on his face printing. And also his back printing and double sided face. And next up is R2D2. Oh, it's just about the same one used in lots of sets over the years. There's same printing, same torso printing, same pieces, same everything. I think it's time to start doing some changes to this one, like, make a white one, like, in the first original sets, but whatever. Oh, no, that. And next up is, is Big's Dark Lighter. Yeah, Big's Dark Lighter. print of which almost I just about identical to Luke Skywalker's okay. and but also a different helmet piece with different prints and all but the only thing but of course the helmet and face print is of what's different And double side face and back torso print. And lastly, is 
RQ or R2Q2. Of which same pieces as R2D2 did, but all in this like silver coloring. Like, but good printing as well. Not no printing from the back. At least kind of good one. Now to the main part of this set, the main X wing itself. So as for the front nose part of it, so all the shaping of which just about similar to the two Force Awakens ones, it's like the nose part of it of which does. I can't remember how the I don't remember what the. Uh, builds of the other two were like, like if it were similar to this, tell it in the comment below. Let's see, same amount of good shaping too, but also, oops, same exact uh, thing, or landing stand as the other two. And for. upper cockpit area, of which also the same amount, kind of the same. <sighs> also similar to the 2012 X-Wing, you can like fold out and as you see, plenty of good space to store you know, one of your mini things into it, and see the little fire hydrant in the back. Not sure why, but whatever. And also back here, of which to sit your astromech droid may fix it into. And where to put the lightsaber or somewhere? I believe. I would say. Like, Lego, why didn't you do this? Add in something to store the lightsaber on. Like in some sets. Like, if, I think it would be easily done if you, like, put a clip piece underneath to store it on, but whatever. But at least you can do that yourself. And then the wings of which, with little different pieces to it, like with those, with the cylinder-like pieces, but with stickers on top. But also the wings of which good design to them, like the sloping and all. And also some more stickering, but those of which you can swap out with these, or they're kind of swappable ones. <clears throat> then to the back, which, well, at least the rubber bands on these ones kind of bled in with the color scheme, unlike with the uh, last couple of Force Awakens ones. Well, the blue one of which did blend in with it. But also some good shaping on the back part as well, with the small pistols and all. And also, some believe the shaping of the engines also good as well. And what I kind of give them props to is when I turn the wing mechanism while it's resting, it kind of doesn't go up. Since underneath, there is a whoops. Some sort of little stopper thing, which acts as like a safety mechanism. But although when you pick it up in midair, it doesn't, you can do that. So it's just about like the Jakku quad jumper from a couple years ago, or last year. All the in mid air. Can then get the X to wing sound. And then there it is in like light but attack position. So that's good. Billy's. Unlike with the last Billy.
Well, similar mechanism to that of the last couple ones. Or you just have to turn this thing to do so, rather than like turning a gear to do so. But at least the mechanism is an important thing, but at least it can go however they want to, but whatever. And so now, let me get everything up and to the final verdict. <clears throat> so my overall verdict on this, at least a pretty good X-Wing for what it is. Like, plenty of good firing mechanisms, like the spring load launchers and stud shooter on the sides. So, well, at least it's been a while since we had an original trilogy X-Wing available. And here it is now. Trying to go along with your Force Awakens version. So, and if you, so if you're looking to pick this up for your original trilogy collection, then go ahead and pick this up. Or if you're a hardcore Lego Star Wars nut, then go ahead and pick this up. And that's it with this video. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.